Hey everyone, back with Resident Evil, or excuse me, Resident Evil. You gotta say it with a dramatic voice. So, you know, I'm picking up literally right where I left off. I mean, this is the same session. Uh, so, you know, I'm, yeah. So I need to get back. Uh, I want to use this closet key. I don't plan on changing my costume because this is my favorite one in this game. Because, you know, it's, it's, it's big buff me and Chris. He's buff. He got muscles. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I need to go through there. <laughs> I always forget that, oh yeah, there's zombies and they're scary. <laughs> I'm not used to being scared when I play games. I don't play a whole lot of horror games. It's fun, though. I will say it is fun. All right. Uh, uh, Dukes! <sighs> Can't touch this. Okay, uh, map. Um, yeah, I think this is locked, yeah, and I don't have the key, I do have the key for this though, and I think there's a zombie in here, oh wait, no, this is not the room I thought it was going to be, okay, alright. This room is always safe. That's one thing that's very nice about this room, is that whenever you go into the main hall, it's safe. And that's... That's just relaxing. Because, you know, there aren't any zombies in here. I mean, uh, you could accidentally spawn, um, zombie dogs if you open the front door like an idiot. Uh, which I totally did not do during my first playthrough, trust me. Yes, discard that key. So, yeah, this is the closet room. You unlock it after you beat the game once. Uh, comfy looking sofa. I've never actually been in here before. Alright, uh, this outfit. I th as far as I know, this is the weird outfit. Yeah, I, I don't like this outfit. <laughs> um... I think the next one that I'm going to unlock after I beat this playthrough is pretty cool. You know, Chris's stars outfits are cool. But again, you know, I'm all about the buff me as Chris. Like, if he does not have uh, arms that are thicker than my legs, then, you know, he's not Chris. Then I, I just like this outfit in general, you know. I like the rolled up sleeves and, you know, the vest. It's a shame this outfit isn't actually in more games, like this one in particular, because the only times you ever get to use it would actually be, well, obviously in this game and uh, in the DLC for Resident Evil 5, but only in the story DLC. You can't use it in, like, Mercenaries or the main story. And I think that's kind of lame, you know. I should be able to use it in... Uh, uh, the main game as well, if I have the DLC, which I do, because, you know, I got it on the PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, I think that this is a good door. I don't know. I, I Again, I don't really, I don't remember what my next move is. I'm just going to go to rooms that are locked and unlock them. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to go out here. <laughs> Not yet. Um... I don't think there's anything important there, aside from a fuel canteen and herbs. Uh, but I do want to go in here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Move the plug. Oh yeah, in, in this part, uh, <laughs> the reflection. Um, Hey, this part is easier with Jill, too, because Jill, she just automatically kills the zombie for you by stomping it on its head. But Chris, you gotta fight this thing. You know? Like, why, why did they make Chris's run so much harder? I, I don't understand it. Alright, this is too small a space, actually, to uh, use the, the knife, which is why I wanted to switch to my gun but I did for some reason. Alright, 
right, he's dead. Alright. Uh, I didn't really need to shoot him that many times. But, you know. Um. Whatever. Uh. Yeah, the, the cool thing is, though, is that I, now I never need to go in there again. So I don't have to worry about him. Alright. Uh, I have another old key. So I gotta figure out where to use it. Um. I'm doing fine. That's that room. Uh, where do I... Where do I need to... Uh, oh yeah, I, I should... Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking out loud right here. I'm not really getting any good commentary. Like, oh, I should, yeah. Um, this way. Not this way. This way. I don't know. It, it's been like the last time I played this game was a month ago. You'd think I'd still have a pretty good idea of what to do, but uh, I don't. It's locked. Okay. Now I know that it's locked. But this door wasn't locked, so I'm going to go ahead and go through it. Alright, herb, I'll, uh, I'll take that, yes, please, hmm, uh, I remember there being a red herb in here, alright, I think that's a map of the second floor, unfortunately though, it, uh, it doesn't count as, like, a memorization of it, uh, and that's locked, yeah, so I need to go on the other side of the mansion. Um, I think there are a couple of things on this side that I might need to do. Uh, I'm going to put that herb away though because it takes up inventory space. That's the thing. With Chris, you can't just carry whatever you want. So even though I might need that herb eventually, I just I got to put it away for now because six inventory slots. <laughs> But with Jill, she can carry, like, an entire friggin' armory with her. And then whatever she wants as well. Um. Fuel canteen. Do I want to... Is there an important area where I would need to use this? Because really, the more times I use this, the better. Uh, yeah, I think, um... I think I'll use it in the upstairs room. Uh, that was very yellowy, I guess. That's how I'll explain it. The kind of orangish room upstairs. Because, you know, uh, there's already one of the Crimson Heads, which is a fast zombie that is tougher and scary. Uh, and, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with those guys. Alright, you know, you know, I'll just, I'll just keep ignoring these guys, because they suck. If I can just walk past them, I will. You know that... What? I, I heard a noise behind me. I'm getting paranoid. These games make me paranoid. Okay. Uh, this room leads to where I want to go. And there's something I need to do in here. But my inventory's full, so I shouldn't do it yet. Alright. So there's a zombie in here. But, like... You don't need to kill him. This is a big room. He's one zombie. Who cares? You know, I'll just let him vibe. He can do whatever he wants. You know, I mean, he's slow. He sucks. That's the thing. I mean, you know, the first time you play through the game, you're so scared of zombies that you're like, I gotta kill every single zombie, otherwise I'm gonna die. But... Oh, those are my footsteps. <laughs> I thought I heard footsteps. They were mine. But I got scared. Alright, uh, why did I go in here? Did I go in here for any other reason than to burn that guy? Um that guy. Yeah. What what do I need to do? <laughs> I don't remember. I know. I have an idea of what I need to do. Uh, 
Uh, wait, yeah, okay, okay, I remember. I need to go back on the other side of the mansion, um, and then there's, uh, a, a dog whistle, which I need to use, uh, to call the dog, and then, you know, I kill the dog, and then it gives me another key, and then I can unlock more rooms, and do more stuff. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh. I forgot that key was for this door. Alright, where's, where does this put me? Here. Oh, this leads to the other safe room. Uh, yes, that's the door that I needed to unlock to get to the balcony to utilize the dog whistle, which I need to get soon. Um, now, see, this guy I'm going to kill, because you want to kill guys in the safe room. Uh, well, or the room next to the safe room. I don't want to use any more ammo until I get some more. Oh, I got greedy. That was my own fault. Wait. I don't think he's dead. Okay, he's dead. Uh, is he just down here? That guy that I hear. Okay, I'm gonna go into this room because this is the other safe room. Ah, <sighs> these rooms are nice. Okay, um. Uh, I want to hold on to this because I want to use it. I guess there wasn't really much of a reason for me to come in here. Is is there anything that I need in here? Uh, anything? Shelf. Um. Yeah. Uh. Bed. Okay, there's nothing in here. You gotta love the safe room music. Like, I know it's it's kind of a meme that it's always, like, so soothing and stuff, but it is. Like, it really is. You know, you hardly ever feel safe in these games. Oh, 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 uh, uh. I thought that guy was downstairs. <laughs> All right, um, I'll just leave him alone for now until I get my canteen refilled. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. I'll need to get the dog whistle. Alright, I think this door is locked from this side, so I can unlock it. Yeah. Alright, opening up doors, making progress. That's what this game is. Like, 90% of this game is just locked to doors. Alright, so now I need to go... Um, not through there. Uh, through here. Right, I think. Yeah, okay. Alright, where, where's that? Come get me. What? You suck! What? You suck! Alright, sorry. I just, I get a little hype when I juke him out. You know, you gotta pep yourself up. That's how you survive in this hostile environment. Alright, there's the dog whistle. Noise. Uh, a crumpled memo. Alright, I guess I'll read these, you know. Alright, I think this is... Is this the... I'll just do my regular voice. I don't know. I always want to do funny voices. All right. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal, like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, 
I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can prevent wildfires. I mean, only you can put this collar on them. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this random person who's picking up this memo. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get a hold of? Mm -hmm. Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us. John Tolman. Alright. Uh, yes, please. Ammo. Chessboard. That's a weird looking game. Uh, not chess in general, but like, you know, the pieces. They're kind of just all over the place. Um, is there anything else in here? Uh, I don't, I don't remember. I always feel like I'm missing something in this room because it's kind of a big room with multiple camera angles and stuff. So, uh, this takes me back out to the safe room area. However, I need to go back to where I was before, which is not that way. Uh, I need to get to the terrace so I can use that whistle and then get the key. Because again, 90% of this game is locked doors. All right. Stinky. Stupid Zambi. It is weird just kind of running past them because I'm, I'm just so used to blasting them. Alright, uh, that... Now I go through this door. I think. Yes. Okay. Now I'll go down here and then use the whistle. And then nothing bad will happen at all. Yeah. Off me. Okay. Uh, I can't carry any more items. Well, um, fiddlesticks. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can I um just get rid of the get rid of the dog whistle? Yeah. Um. The Chris struggle is real. Darn it, if I had just used one more shot, I could have uh, put away the thing. Oh, yes, okay. Well, at least it let me discard it, but now I need to go back out there. Waste of a loading screen. Man, the Chris struggle is real. It doesn't make any sense. You'd think he would have more inventory spaces since he's wearing, you know, a tactical vest. I, I mean, you know, I'm wearing the costume, which gives me, you know, all these little pouches and everything. But even still, uh, you know, Jill just has a little belt. But, you know, Chris, he has the vest and whatever. Uh, so, yeah, and I press the switch. And there's a coin. It's inside the collar, and then, you know, you press the thingy, boop, it looks like a key, but it does not have the rigidity of one. Yeah, uh, I don't know why I remembered that so specifically. Uh, how's my health? I'm still fine. Uh, as long as you're fine, you know, you're fine. Um, it's a very fitting health term, just fine. You know, when you're yellow, you're... You're okay, I guess, but then when you get into the red, that's when you want to use an herb. Alright, so now, um, I don't go downstairs. I go upstairs, which I was already there, but, you know, I, I, I'm getting mixed up on the directions. It happens. It's a big mansion. Alright, where's... Where's the zombie? Um, 
Okay, I think I go in here. Right? Uh, I do, but, big but, uh, before I do that, I want to burn some more zombies, because, uh, this is the part of the game where they introduce the crimson heads, which are the crazy fast ones that do more damage and stuff, and, you know, those guys are scary, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn some more zombies, you know, you get, you gotta think ahead, you can't just do whatever, um, uh, I don't know why I took the long way. <laughs> okay, so uh, to get to a canteen, uh, it's by the safe room that is on this side of the mansion. Okay, uh, but to get there, um, do I need? I think I can go this way. It, it may have been faster the other way. Uh, yeah, it is the one on this side. All right. There's a lot of memorization with these games. You know, you don't just go in a straight path and the game it does not set things out for you. You gotta you gotta remember that. Alright, see he's still gray, so I don't have to worry about him. But once they introduce the Crimson Heads, then it is completely random on when they'll turn. Uh and you know, I don't want that. I remember being so terrified the first time I heard those crows, because, you know, I didn't know what it was. And I was terrified. I was like, what? what's making that sound? You know, there's always something special about the first playthrough. All right, I'm going to not walk over that guy. I could <laughs> Wait. Um, wait. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, I, I'm taking the long route, on, intentionally. Uh, I, I forgot to unlock that door. Because it's locked from the other side, which means that once I get to the other side, I can unlock it. Uh, I remember why, though, because, um, this douchebag is in the way. Yeah. You hear him squishing. Oh, closer than I thought there. Die! Man, I, I don't like using a bunch of ammo, but I also don't like dying, you know? Like, dying is probably my least favorite thing. But, you know, uh, I'm screwing this guy's knees up. Like, uh, his his dream of being um, a marathoner, yeah, he won't be able to do that anymore. No way. Alright, so now I'm going to unlock the door. Um, oh, wait, the, the canteen refill is on the other side of the mansion. Darn it, I... <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I unlocked the door, so I, I did something. I think a good, like, 30 to 40% of this playthrough is just going to be me going around in circles because I forgot where a specific thing was. But, you know, that's, that's how it be sometimes. But, you know, at least I look cool. Like, that's, that's always important. That's actually one of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of first-person games. Like, you know, my opinion here, but I much prefer third-person games because you get to look at your character, and if you have a cool-looking character, then I like to look at the character. You know, I think character design... Uh, that's one of the most important things to a video game for me, because, like, if the protagonist doesn't look cool, then I probably won't get the game. <laughs> you know, I want to play as a cool-looking protagonist, and Chris Redfield is a cool guy. Um, yeah. This door. And Jill is a cool lady. You know, maybe at some point 
Uh, I'll play through the game again as Jill. Not immediately after playing through it as Chris. Because I have the other Resident Evil games as well. Not every single one of them. But I have uh, 1 through 5, excluding 3, uh, the remake, because it's not out yet. And Revelations. Uh, Revelations 1, specifically. And I think that's actually really underrated in the Resident Evil mythos. Because... Uh, I don't know, maybe I just have a soft spot for it because it was my first Resident Evil game. But I think it's really good. Uh, and you know, I enjoyed it. Um, yes. Uh, ow! Stop! Alright. Dogs do not want to play nice. Okay, that's the death noise. Um, I can only pick one thing up, and you know I'll go for the uh, I'll go for the sack. Chemical to use on plant. Um, this will be important later. I forgot that's where that was. But yeah, I'm gonna need this later. Not anytime soon though, so I can put it uh, away for now. Because it'll be a little while before I get to the room where you use it. Uh, I always I always get turned around like 50 times in that room. It's just like... Alright. Uh, I want to get the real version of the fake key that I have. And then I'll think I'll end the episode. Because it's been a, a little while. I don't know. Um... So yeah, and I need to burn those zombies near the other safe room. Because it's just a good idea. Alright, uh... Put that away. How's my health? Not great. I can take like another two hits. Depending on who hits me. Uh, I don't want to go that way. So I'll go this way, because I got jukes. Do I have any defensive items? No, I do not. Yeah, defensive items are very handy. Because as long as you don't get snatched from the back, uh, it's, it's basically like a get-out-of-jail-free card. You know, you just stab them in the neck, or pop a grenade in their mouth. I guess that's another th uh, good thing that Chris has over Jill, because Jill... Uh, she has a taser as one of her defensive weapons, and when you first get it, you think it's going to be like OP or something. But it's actually not nearly as good as Chris's grenade, because if you shoot the grenade while it's in their mouth, it will blow their head up, which will instantly kill them and prevent them from coming back, which is very nice. So yeah, Chris has a little bit more health, and he gets a grenade. Uh, which... This door... Yeah. Alright, I'm scared. Um, wait, I should... I should burn those other zombies first. Right, Chris? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and skip to when I do that, because uh, you don't need to see me walk around all over the place. Um, I mean, I guess that is part of the fun, but, you know... Uh, I'm running out of things to... Oh, wait, is it just through this door? If it's just through this door, then I'm not going to cut it. I think it's just through this door. It is. Okay. Uh, there will be no cuts then. Aside from the cuts in the zombies. Alright. Fern, you son of a hopefully wonderful mother. You know, I don't know your life. I just know your purgatory. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on this guy, because uh, the last time I played through the game, uh, both times, it took him like forever to come back. So I'm just going to hope uh, that stays the same before I refill my canteen. Alright, now, now we're doing this scary. I'm going to pick this up. 
Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Those guys are scary. You know, they're fast. They take a lot of damage. You know, they're they're pretty scary. And I think the pacing uh, was really good because um, wait a minute, my inventory. <laughs> The struggle is real. Uh, I'll just use this herb. It's... I... Uh, Alright, yeah. You know, you take... Take the real key. That goes down. Oh no! The walls are closing in. Claustrophobia. Spinny, spiky death guy. But... Bam. Not dead. I'm not falling for your tricks, Spencer Mansion. Alright, this door is locked. Yeah. Okay, um, examine the key. This should be the armor key. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I pressed the button twice. Um, so, uh, yeah, I guess I should end the episode here. Got the second of the four mansion keys. I'd like to say we're halfway there, but we're totally not. Um, now there's going to be a big scary guy. <laughs> I'm just going to skedaddle, you know. Alright, uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, it feels weird not to end in a safe room. I don't know why. I just feel like that's where I should end it, but... Uh, yeah, Resident Evil. You know, things are getting scary. The Crimson Heads, they have arrived. They're very terrifying. I think the only enemy scarier than them would be the Hunters. And the Hunters are... Ugh, I hate those guys. <laughs> but yeah, um... You know, I again, I really like this game. It's a very good game. I'd say of the Resident Evil games I've played, which is like more than half... I don't really want to say most of them because I've played five and I'm soon going to play six because, you know, the new one's coming out. That's one of the reasons I'm I'm uploading these because I'm sure everybody's nice and hyped because it's, what, next month? April? Yeah, I won't get to play it till May, but, uh, you know, May is my birthday, so, you know, I'm getting it for my birthday. So, yeah, just the entire month of May is my birthday. Uh, but, so yeah, I had a lot of fun, as always. Again, I hope you did too. I hope you guys are enjoying this, because it is a very different game. You know, it's a lot slower paced and everything. But, you know, I think it's fun. And, you know, it's made by the same company, so there's there's that, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah, see you guys next time.